Hey everyone, Sharkheart here, and in this video I want to talk to you about how you can guarantee yourself a Bennett in the upcoming days. Bennett is highly regarded as one of the best characters in the entire game, and being able to get him without relying on any RNG is honestly fantastic. In this video, we're going to cover how you can get a Bennett of your very own without any wishing, and we'll also cover how you can get some really good characters for free in the future too. Now if you like videos about free characters and other ways to boost your account without spending, then definitely make sure to like, sub, and turn on the bell if you haven't already. I like to make videos like this so people can get an advantage without feeling like they're forced to spend. I also like to make videos to notify people when there's free primo gems up for grabs. Many of these events and special codes are very limited, so being sub with the notifications on is a great way to make sure you get those free primo gems too. So thank you so much for liking, subbing, and turning the bell on, and as a thank you, here's a picture I made of Jolene Cujo out of string. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. This method does take a little bit of planning and preparation, and I'd hate for people to make some mistakes that prevent them from getting this character, so I wanted to bring you this now. Now some people may be wondering why Bennett's such a big deal, and well, Bennett is one of the most sought after characters in the entire game, he's just really, really broken. He has a very short cooldown on his elemental skill being only 4 seconds. The damage on it isn't anything special, but what is special is the amount of energy he can generate from it. Because Bennett can generate multiple particles every time on his tappy, he becomes an amazing pyro battery. And while his skill is really good, his elemental burst is on a whole nother level. His elemental burst deals pyro damage and places a little thumbs up circle on the ground. Standing in the circle heals you for huge chunks up to 70% of your maximum health. It also applies pyro to you which allows you to cleanse yourself of any non-pyro elemental debuff like slowing water. And of course, what the burst is best known for doing is giving your on-field character a huge buff in attack. So basically when you build a Bennett, you can throw down his elemental burst, stand inside it, basically be immortal unless you get one shot, and have a huge attack buff to deal tons of damage to your enemies too. And once that's done, you can simply tap his elemental skill every 4 seconds and get back a ton of pyro energy. Bennett is the poster child for a broken character in Genshin Impact, and honestly there's probably never going to be a character as strong or as broken as he is right out of the gate. So if you don't have a Bennett, he is extremely worth picking up, and even if you already do, his Constellation 1 is really really good, and his Constellation 5 is also extremely strong. His Constellation 1 allows you to get both the healing and attack buff at the same time, whereas in his base form you're only getting the healing if you're not at 70% HP and then you get the attack buff, but with his Constellation 1 you get both simultaneously. His 5th Constellation is also really strong as it gives you 3 talent levels to your elemental burst. This effectively means that from talent level 7 onwards, Bennett is giving you over 100% of his base attack. So how do you get this extremely broken character that will carry you through the entire game? Well, it starts with this item. This is Masterless Star Glitter, and you've probably seen some of it, and you've probably even used some of it before, but you may not have realized that you can use this to get a bunch of free characters. Or maybe you did know you could use it for getting free characters, but you wanted to turn them into wishes instead, so you haven't ever saved any of this. And honestly, it's better to save Masterless Star Glitter and use them for characters you don't have, or even some really good constellations for characters you do have, because the chances of getting that 5 star, that really cool 4 star that you want from turning Masterless Star Glitter into wishes is really low. So definitely start saving your Masterless Star Glitter if you haven't done so already, because Bennett is coming to the Paimon's Bargain Shop, and you can just straight up buy a copy of him for 34 Masterless Star Glitter. Now I just said that it's better to save Masterless Star Glitter and use them for characters instead of using them for wishes, and let me show you why. It takes 5 Masterless Star Glitter to convert into a single wish, and it takes 34 Masterless Star Glitter to buy a copy of a character in Paimon's Bargains. So if you were to convert the same amount of Masterless Star Glitter into wishes, you'd only get 6 wishes, and that's not even enough to guarantee yourself a 4 star. Or you could use that same 34 star glitter and get yourself a really good character or some really good constellations for some characters. Now let's talk about how you get masterless star glitter in the first place. This special item can only be obtained by wishing and every time you get a 4 star or 5 star you get a little bit of masterless star glitter. Whenever you get a 4 star character or a 4 star weapon you get 2 masterless star glitter. And once you've gotten enough duplicates of a 4 star character to fully complete their constellations, any further duplicates of that character will then give you 5 masterless star glitter. Every 5 star constellation and 5 star weapon you pull gives you 10 masterless star glitter. 
And if you're able to complete a 5 star character's constellations, then any further copies of that character will give you 25 Masterless Star Glitter. A thing to note about getting the extra Star Glitter from completing character constellations is that you don't actually have to unlock any of the constellations to get the bonus. You simply have to have enough duplicates or enough copies so that you could unlock their final constellation. So once you accumulate 34 Masterless Star Glitter, you can simply go into Paimon's Bargains, click on this little tab here, go over to Characters, select the one you want, Exchange, and then BAM! You've got a new character or constellation! And as you can see here, I can't buy Razor because I already have MC6 and therefore he's not available in the shop anymore. And I really wanted to make this video because when it premieres, you'll have about 10 days before Bennett will come to the Paimon's Bargain Shop. So you have some time to prepare for Bennett now, but you'll also be able to get him in the entire month of November. So I wanted to get this information out now, so it's not too early so you forget, but it's also not too late so that you don't have enough time to prepare. So if you're currently wishing on the Nilu or Albedo banners, or plan to be wishing on the Nahida or whatever rerun character banner comes with her, then make sure to save your Star Glitter. Considering we just got the 7 day login reward, you probably have a few extra wishes, so it's a really good time to start saving for some characters that could really boost your account. Now let's say you already have Bennett and his Constellation 1, so when he comes to the shop in November, you may choose to skip him. Well, there's still some good news because there's a rotation of some really good characters in the Paimon's Bargain Shop. In January and July, we have Fischl and Zhongling, which are both excellent top-tier characters. Both are very good at C0, but if you want their big power spikes, Fischl's C6 is really strong, and Zhongling's C4 is really strong. Then in March and September, we have Ningguang and Xingqiu. Ningguang is not that great to be honest, but Xingqiu is amazing and one of the other best characters in the entire entire game. If you don't have Xingqiu, I would highly recommend picking him up, and every single one of his constellations is really good, so getting extra constellations is also something you might want to think about. Then in November and May, we have Bennett and Lisa. If I didn't have a Bennett, I would definitely be saving and going for him. And even if I already had a Bennett, I would keep an eye out in Paimon's Bargains to get extra copies of him so I could go for his C1 and eventually his C5. Now for the other characters you may be interested in, in October and April there's Razor and Amber, in December and June there's Barbara and Kaya, and in February and August Beto and Noel come to Paimon's Bargains. Of those characters, Kaya and Beto are probably the ones that are most used the most at Endgame and have some of the better constellations. But you can always pick out whichever character you want, especially if you're trying to get copies of the original starting characters, as it can be pretty hard to get their constellations since they only come from the standard banner. Now you can also get 4 star weapons and character ascension materials from the Star Glitter Shop, so let me give you a quick rundown on those. The TLDR is that the Royal Weapons series are really bad, don't use your Star Glitter on those because they're a complete waste. But the Black Cliff weapons can be good, especially as they're 4 star weapons that give you crit damage as a substat, which is often very helpful. As for the character ascension materials, do not buy these with Star Glitter, it is a giant waste to do so. Because you can already farm these in game, and you can take the lower level ones and craft them up into higher level ones, it's better to save your star glitter for the characters you really want, or a potential 4 star weapon you might want. So let's recap and go over some strategy. To get Bennett from the Paimon's Bargain Shop, I need 34 star glitter. So I would be saving my star glitter now, and any star glitter I got from Wishes in November, and if I got a total of 34 star glitter during the month of November, I'd get Bennett. If I didn't, I would keep saving until I got at least 34 star glitter. I would look at the Paimon's Bargain Shop rotation and see which characters I want and plan for the future. So for example, if I wasn't able to get enough star glitter for November, I would look ahead and say, oh, well there's Fischl coming in January, I definitely want to get her, and then Bennett's coming back in May, so I'm going to continue to save star glitter, I'll get Fischl in January, and then continue to save more and get Bennett in May. I would not use any star glitter for any weapons and definitely not for any character ascension materials until then, and just save my star glitter, pretend it wasn't there until I really needed it, and then BAM, get the characters I really wanted. I hope this video has been a good PSA. Bennett is not in the star glitter shop yet, but he will be quite soon, so you definitely want to start saving and get prepared if you haven't already. You may have gotten a lot of star glitter recently from the free wishes we got for the anniversary, so I definitely wanted to make this video so that everyone has a heads up and doesn't miss out on one of the most broken characters in the entire game. And if by chance you aren't able to get Bennett in November, he will be back in May, at least as long as Hoyo doesn't change the Paimon's Bargain Shop rotation. 
but it has been pretty consistent so far. Anyways everyone, I've been Shark, you've been Jawsome. Thank you for all the love, the support, the nice comments, it really really does mean a lot to me. You're the best, I love you, I hope your day is fantastic. may order guide you friends, and I'll see you in the next one.